Welcome everyone to another MTR Fab video. This is MTR. Today we're doing another mower video. This is part 14. I welcome you to check out the rest of the series. It's on my channel. If you'd like to see how we got to this point. Um, but from here on out, this is now an FPV mower. Uh, if you don't know what FPV is, we're looking to, to make this a first-person view mower. Now, this is all temporary stuff just to show you this demonstration, but what I have here is some 3D printed parts that are actually holding a small camera that would uh, normally be used in, in an FPV drone or uh, you know, a helicopter or something of that sort. And I'm controlling it with some of the other signals that we had available to us and we can actually see the video feed here uh, I'm sorry I've got a little cell phone camera here with an ad running but ignore the ad but there's left right down up now I can run this mower with headgear or you could run it with just a, a monitor of some sort but you can see where I've got the power running actually directly to uh, battery power for now and that's because this VTX supports up to 6S which is what those batteries are and this is actually a 5.8 gigahertz uh, video transmitter and it actually does audio too which might be handy in my application I've never used audio on one of these uh, but it might be the time to so uh, you could hear uh, if you're maybe hitting a stick or tipping rocks or whatever you're doing. Um, there's a little joystick that's in line with the camera. This wasn't the original camera for this design and that's why this is all kind of wonky right now. This was actually made for a bullet camera, a backup camera that I got a long time ago. And it fought me to the end today and uh, I finally moved on and just put an FPV camera in there. It's lighter, it's faster. Um, these are just two hobby grade standard servos and this is actually the version one of these pieces that I made um, I've got version two here and uh, you can see more detail and there's actually a bearing support for the other side um, if that's gonna focus for us this was uh, last time I printed it the the bearing hole was too small and when I tried to really get the bearing in there it broke open so that was the second time I printed this piece but now you can see there's a skate bearing in there with a skate bearing and a bushing and all that's doing is maintaining the spacing and it's actually going to support the other side of this so this is going to go on there something like this and that way I have nice, good, heavy support for this so it's not bobbling around. I mean, it's all plastic anyway, but it's just a more robust solution. So this little monitor represents what I'm going to have available to me as far as a video feed. And you can see, I can look right around. Can look at what's on the table. can even see my hand there right so that's pretty cool and uh, now I pretty much have all the hardware uh, that I need to mount up top here now remember this guy I had a USB port that I need to put in here somewhere so I'm going to incorporate that in here too so this is what's got to sit up top we got to have a video transmitter we've got to have and that's 5.8 gigahertz we have a 2.4 gigahertz uh, receiver module. We now have two available channels left, channels five and six. And you can see the servos are wired into channels three and four. I told you last week we weren't gonna use them. It was kinda, uh, I was planning on doing this, but I didn't know if I could get it done. And we're close enough that we can make this happen. Um, so all this stuff is gonna get housed inside some sort of enclosure up top here and we're gonna have to reprint the camera mount. But I wanted to share with you guys where we're at. I've gotta build some more stuff on the 3D printer. 
before I can get any more of this done. But now you can see we got the right stick controls the wheels, the left stick controls the camera. It's like I can't get the camera screen and the but pretty cool. Um, so we should have a pan and tilt FPV mower here shortly. All right, sorry it's a short video. It's just the way it's going to be this week. Hopefully I can get something built up for you guys to show you next week. And uh, we're going to make an enclosure for all of this. But we know it functionally, it functions and works. And we're going to get it done. All right, guys. If you like what you see, please share, comment, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. I need those thumbs so YouTube keeps pushing this stuff. Alright? Thank you guys. We'll see you on the next one. I'm out.